sequel to End the Watch should be watched to the end of this video. End the Watch is about two LA cops uh, showing how they do their job until they find a drug cartel which everything goes downhill from there. Now, this stars Jake Gyllenhaal and Michael Pena. Now, to me, honestly, I think Michael Pena is one of those underrated actors because you see him in, I see him in comedies, I see him in dramas, I see him in other movies, and this guy really can act. Along with Jake Gyllenhaal. Now, I don't think he's that underrated, but Michael Pena is a little more underrated than he is. Now, well, this, this movie is filmed like a film for this type of film, like Chronicle, but not in that type of way. I look at it kind of like a... Uh, Day in the Life or a type of documentary type movie. Now, Jake Gyllenhaal and Michael Pena were good, gave good performances in this movie. They had great chemistry. They really, like, you know, in, cop, in the cop world, you, if you have partners, they treat each other like brothers. And you show, and you see that in this movie. And you really felt that Michael Pena and Jake Gyllenhaal were really bros with their characters. Now, what this movie does is it just follows the day in the life of two LA cops. One of the characters is the thrill seekers of the bunch and they pretty much stumble upon a drug cartel. Now that's when everything goes, like I said before, goes down downhill. Like, what I like about this movie is that, you know, the chemistry between Jake Gyllenhaal and Michael Pena. They really show the chemistry and brotherhood of a cop, uh, a cop, two cop partners, so to speak. Is it the, one of the best cop movies I've seen? No. Is it good? Yes. What I thought the movie could have did a little better is it took a long time to get into the main plot of the story. It really felt that it really dragged on. And by doing that, what it did by dragging the movie on, it filled it up with great chemistry. But I said I think it could have cut down on the chemistry parts because when you got Jake Gyllenhaal and Michael Pena and those performances that they get they, that they gave in the movie, you really could have cut down on chemistry roles when it came to that. Other than that, this movie really kind of shocked me towards the end. I yeah, and usually movies really don't do that for me. I can usually call out how the movie is really going to end, but this movie. It really shocked me in a way that I did not expect. But one thing about this movie I felt that is, this movie kind of reminded me of Breaking Bad on the other side of the law, being on the good guy side of the law. It had a good story, had a good detail and gritty scenes in this movie. It's really gritty. It, it deserved every bit of being rated R. I look at it like, like that. If anybody's seen Breaking Bad, you guys know what I mean. It's another side of Breaking Bad. So what I said, like I said before, in the Watch could have been better, but for what it was, it was a very enjoyable movie. Like I said before, it could have cut down on some of the chemistry parts because you have great um, chemistry between Jake Gyllenhaal and uh, Michael Pena. Otherwise, In the Watch for me, I think is a good, solid movie overall. So I'm going to give it about an abatement between three and a half out of four. I gave it about three and a half out of five stars. Not the best cop movie but a very good one. So if you like this review, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Subscribing does help. And until next time, Movie Nation.